today's video, we will be tackling about alcohols and phenols. So alcohols is an organic molecule that contains a hydroxyl group. Meanwhile, phenols is an organic molecule also that contains an OH group that is directly attached to a benzene ring. Alcohols can be classified into three major groups, namely the primary, secondary, and tertiary. This classification is based on whether the alcohol carbon is on one, two, or three. This classification is important because this group of alcohols reacts differently. Alcohol is used in the pharmaceutical industry in a variety of manufacturing processes. It has bactericidal activity and is often used as a topical disinfectant, especially in alcohol gel for hands. Alcohol is also used as a solvent or a preservative in pharmaceutical preparations. For this moment, we will start our experiment! As soon as ethanol is set on fire, they burn with a pale blue flame. In some sense, this is the intrinsic color of these flames. Their origin comes from energy deposited in a bunch of excited CH and CC bonds and radicals that form during combustion. The energy of these transitions lies in the blue-green part of the spectrum, hence the blue color. Because these transitions are few in number and have a low probability, these pure flames tend to be rather weak. As the flames start to burn, ethanol starts to have some yellow plumes. The yellow color in the case of ethanol comes from the formation of soot. Soot is essentially carbon containing, consisting of a large number of byproducts from incomplete combustion. The reason soot forms more easily in the case of ethanol are simply because the compound is heavier and contains more carbon. This effect is more pronounced as you get to heavier hydrocarbons. The soot in turn becomes heated up by the flame and starts emitting yellow-orange light. Are soluble in water. This is due to the hydroxyl group in the alcohol which is able to form a hydrogen band with water molecules. Alcohols with smaller hydrocarbon chain are very soluble. As the length of the hydrocarbon chain increases, the solubility of water decreases. With more carbon in the hydrocarbon chain and increases, the decrease in solubility becomes visible as the mixture forms two immiscible layers of liquid. The reason why solubility decreases as the length of the hydrocarbon chain increases is because it needs more energy to overcome the hydrogen bonds between the alcohol molecules as molecules are more tightly packed together as size and mass increases. Ethanol and propantol is easy to dissolve in case of tertiary alcohol and alkyl group is branched and has a less surface area, less hydrophobic, 
since it is more soluble in water. Indeed, third butanol is the most miscible in water because of the presence of the benzene ring, phenol is insoluble in water. The phenyl group in phenols is nonpolar and hydrophobic, so it is insoluble in water. During the experiment, it is a must to wear a gloves and never handle it with your bare hands for phenol is very corrosive. If a small piece of sodium is dropped into ethanol, it reacts steadily to give off bubbles of hydrogen gas and leaves a colorless solution of sodium ethoxide, CH3CH2ONA. The anion component is an alkoxide. This is because of the similarities in the structure of the water molecule and the alkyl group in alcohols. Due to the low density of alcohols, the sodium sinks. The reaction proceeds steadily with the evolution of hydrogen gas and leaves a colorless solution of the salt. The salt can be recovered as a white solid by careful evaporation of the solution. Lucas reagent is a solution of saturated and anhydrous zinc chloride in concentrated hydrochloric acid. This test is used to distinguish between water-soluble primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohols. Some alcohols react with ZnCl2 or zinc chloride in acidic aqueous solution to give an alkyl chloride. The Lucas test involves substitution reaction where the OH group of alcohol is replaced by a Cl atom. The Lucas reagent is consists of a mixture of hydrochloride and zinc chloride that are dissolved in the water. The mechanism of this reaction involves carbonation in termogenic. First, an OH ion removed from the alcohol, leaving the carbon atom in the molecule positively charged. Then, chlorine ion adds positively charged by carbon atom. Since tertiary carbocations is much more stable than the primary or secondary carbocation, tertiary alcohols will react readily with the Lucas reagent. Secondary alcohols will react slowly with the usual minutes of 5 to 10. Primary alcohols will not react much at all since primary carbocations is so unstable. Therefore, Tertiary alcohols react immediately. The test tube will get hot and because the chloride is insoluble, two layers may be apparent or cloudy dispersion forms. Secondary alcohols will become cloudy after 5 to 10 minutes. After heating slightly, it will give white layer within 10 minutes. Primary alcohols will give no reaction at all. For the abomination of phenol, add a drop of boiling water to 1 ml of each phenol solution. If bromine water is added to a solution of phenol in water, the bromine water is decolorized and a white precipitate is formed which smells of antiseptic. The hydroxyl group of phenyl activates the ring to electrophilic substitution so that reaction occurs under very mild conditions.
Ferric chloride can be used to distinguish most phenols from alcohols. Phenol with a hydroxyl group attached to an unsaturated carbon atom mixed with ferric chloride gives a coloration such as pink, violet, green, whereas ordinary alcohols do not. The color is due to the formation of coordination complexes with the ion. When ferric chloride is added to the phenol, the solution turns purple color. In resorcinol, the solution also turns in purple color but with two layers. In salicylic acid, the solution turns purple color and in ethanol, there is no change at all. The purple color of solution indicates the presence of phenols. This means that the phenol and salicylic acid has the content of phenol. Phenol reacts with neutral ferric chloride to give a purple colored water soluble complex. In fact, all compounds, whether aliphatic or aromatic containing the enol group, but unlike alcohol, it gives characteristic colors with neutral ferric chloride. The chemical basis of the test in our experiment, which is the alcohols and phenols are potassium permanganate, ferric chloride, and glucose reagent. Potassium permanganate, or KMNO4, appears as a purplish colored crystalline solid. It is a non combustible but accelerates the burning combustible of material. On adding the alcohol to glucose reagent, a tertiary alcohol reacts immediately, forming a PPT of alkyl chloride. If the PPT appears after a few minutes, the alcohol is secondary. But if there is no PPT and it is obtained in cold, the alcohol is primary. And the last will be the Lucas reagent or HCl is used to differentiate the primary, secondary, and the tertiary alcohols. No. The desired product was not successfully extracted because there are some particular chemicals that are not available in the laboratory. Somehow that contributes to the experiment. If the percentage yield is high, there is an increase in temperature, there is an increase in the concentration of the reactants, there is a catalyst used, and there is an increase of the surface area of the reactants. If the percentage yield is low, the reactants do not completely form the product. There were no errors encountered during our experiment, but there are some procedures that we're not able to perform because there are certain chemicals that are not available in the laboratory. What we've learned in the experiment is that alcohols and phenols are considered to be different compounds. Phenols are aromatic compounds, whereas alcohols are aliphatic compounds. They react differently as they are not the same properties. Alcohols are soluble in water, while phenols are insoluble. In the Lucas reagent test, the chemical is used to determine or distinguish the water-soluble primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohols. And in the experiment, we've learned that tertiary alcohols react immediately with Lucas reagent. Also, we've learned in the experiment that not all alcohols react when mixed with KMNO4 or ferric chloride. Since I'm